Yo, what's up mga kaibigan? This is your boy, Jerry of Jacob Vlogs. Kung bago ka pa lang dito sa channel ko, welcome. Kung nagbabalik ka na, welcome back. So, kumusta kayong lahat dyan? Sana nasa mabuti kayong kalagayan. Anywhere you are, nasa Pilipinas man or outside the country, uh, sana ay safe kayo. Anyway, ngayong araw pag-uusapan natin yung isang isa sa pinakamagandang software na nagamit ko as an editor. Ito yung DaVinci Resolve at kung bakit ako nagpalit from Premiere Pro to this software. To give you a little background, I've been editing video since around 2017. Nagsushoot ako ng prenups, birthdays, pre-birthdays, kasal. So mga ganong events yung sinushoot ko. And most of the time, ako rin yung nag edit ng mga videos ko. For the most part, ang gamit ko talaga was Premiere Pro. Itong Premiere Pro pala, usually ito yung ginagamit ng karamihan. Most of the people I know, Premiere Pro yung ginagamit. So last year, I've been hearing na yung DaVinci Resolve maganda. Way back last year when I tried it, DaVinci Resolve 15 pa. It then progressed to DaVinci Resolve 16. So ngayon, ang latest yata nasa 16.2. So I think July or August last year, napabili ako ng bagong video card or GPU, which is the GTX 1050 Ti. So medyo murahin lang din. And after that, I decided to install DaVinci Resolve. Kasi alam ko, yung DaVinci Resolve, mas na-utilize nga yung video card when it comes to editing. So yun nga, I installed the software, I use it, and ever since then, hindi na ako bumalik sa Premiere Pro. So ano yung naging rason ko? So a little disclaimer before I start giving my reasons. Uh, itong video na to, hindi ito pagmamaliit sa Premiere Pro. Hindi rin ito pagmamaliit sa mga taong gumagamit ng Premiere Pro. Every individual, every editor, magkaiba yan. Magkakaibang workflow, magkakaibang style, magkakaibang trip. So in this video, personal view ko to kung bakit nagustuhan ko talaga yung DaVinci Resolve. Now if you're a Premiere Pro user, huwag niyong masamain yung mga sinasabi ko dito. I am just expressing my personal experience uh, kung bakit talaga napaswitch ako from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve. So first things first, ang pinaka napansin ko, pinakaunang napansin ko sa DaVinci Resolve is yung speed niya when it comes to playback sa editing timeline at saka sa rendering. Uh, if you ask me, itong computer ko hindi na bago. I'm still using i5 na 3rd gen, released way back 2011. So I only have 8 gig of RAM, GTX 1050 Ti na entry level ng na video card. So when it comes to specs, itong computer ko hindi kalakasan. Lumang luma na and most of the parts na gamit ko dito, hindi mo na makikita ang brand new. So with that being said, ang hinahanap ko sa isang editing software is something na may utilize yung lakas ng computer ko kasi alam ko hindi pa ako makakapag-upgrade ng computer ngayon. So I am just trying to maximize what I have. So, so far yung editing experience ko as far as the speed is concerned, although I can't really say na night and day difference siya sa Premiere Pro, but for me, Uh, pansin na pansin ko talaga na mas mabilis siya from cutting until rendering. Yung pangalawang bagay na nagustuhan ko sa DaVinci Resolve is yung stability niya or reliability. With almost a year ng experience of using DaVinci Resolve, mabibilang pa sa daliri ko yung times na nag-crash tong software na to. So hindi ko rin na-experience na makurap yung file ko or yung project ko. So comparing kasi sa experience ko sa Premiere Pro, ang dami kasing beses na nag-crash yung software na yon. Yung pinaka-worst na experience ko sa Premiere Pro when it comes to stability and reliability, uh, way back then nag-e-edit ako ng multi-cam setup at ibang camera tapos nag-sync ako. Almost every process na ginagawa ko, nagsisave ako kasi wala pang 5 minutes nagka-crash siya. So nasabi ko rin pinaka-worst to na experience kasi naghahabol ako ng oras tapos itong Premiere Pro, palaging nagka-crash. So in my part, talagang frustrating siya. Unlike the video results, sa almost a year na paggamit ko dito, wala pa talaga ang sampung beses na nag-crash yung software. And I never had experience na nakorap yung project ko. So for stability and reliability, a big thumbs up for the video results. Ang pangatlong rason ko kung bakit nagustuhan ko yung the video results is yung pag-streamline niya when it comes to workflow. Kasi kung nag-e-edit ka sa Premiere, kung gusto mo mag-edit ng audio, gagamit ka ng dynamic link papuntang Adobe Audition. Now, kung gusto mo naman ng motion graphics or VFX, gagamit ka naman ng dynamic link papuntang After Effects. Now, kung gusto mo naman ma-optimize yung media mo para mas madali siyang i-edit, gagamit ka naman ng Adobe Media Encoder. So in other words, hindi lang Premiere Pro yung gagamitin mo. You have to use other Adobe products. However, if you're using DaVinci Resolve, kung gusto mo ng optimized na media, within DaVinci Resolve mismo, kaya niya mag-generate ng optimized media or mga tinatawag nating proxy files para mapabilis at mapagaan yung editing mo. Instead of using Adobe Media Encoder, kung nasa Premiere ka, nasa DaVinci Resolve na mismo yun. Kung 
Kung gusto mo naman ng motion graphics or VFX, pwede ka naman gumamit ng Fusion. Pumunta ka lang sa Fusion tab, pwede mo siyang gawin doon. So wala ka ng ibang software na gagamitin kundi sa DaVinci Resolve mismo na sa Fusion tab lang. Kung gusto mo naman mag-edit ng audio, meron naman siyang tinatawag na Fairlight. Ang Fairlight ay counterpart ng Adobe Audition kung Adobe products yung ginagamit mo. So yun yung sinasabi kong streamline yung workflow ko dito sa DaVinci Resolve kasi wala na akong ibang software na ginagamit kundi mismong DaVinci Resolve na. So wala na akong hahanapin outside the DaVinci Resolve itself. So yung pang-apat na reason ko is one of the strongest aspect ng DaVinci Resolve which is color grading. Kasi way back then yung DaVinci Resolve is dedicated talaga for color grading. Hollywood standard ha. Nitong bago lang naging fully blown NLE na yung DaVinci Resolve. So when it comes to color grading, mas powerful talaga siya. Ang dami-dami mong magagawa dito na hindi mo magagawa sa Premiere or kung magawa mo man, medyo mahirap siya compared sa DaVinci Resolve as far as color grading is concerned. Personally speaking, as an editor, isa sa mga bagay na talagang gustong gusto ko is yung color grading. So dito sa DaVinci Resolve, nagagawa ko na yung color grading na gusto ko na hindi ko dati nagagawa sa Premiere Pro. At pang limang rason ko kung bakit nagustuhan ko yung DaVinci Resolve is yung tinatawag nating noise reduction. Hindi noise reduction sa audio, kundi noise reduction sa video. Although nagagawa din natin yung noise reduction sa audio with the use of Fairlight. In this case, I am talking about noise reduction sa video. Kasi personal speaking, itong camera na gamit ko for personal work and client work, hindi maganda sa low light. Most of the time, makikita mo talaga yung noise. So sa DaVinci Resolve, madali mong mareremedyuhan yan. Unfortunately, sa Premiere Pro, I think magagawa mo lang yan kung meron kang plug-in. So dito sa DaVinci Resolve, as long as you're using DaVinci Resolve Studio, madali mo lang matanggal yung noise. So yun yung last reason kung bakit nagustuhan ko talaga yung DaVinci Resolve. Of course, there were challenges way back then when I was just starting to edit in DaVinci Resolve kasi medyo nahihirapan din ako kasi medyo matagal na rin akong gumagamit ng Premiere Pro. May mga bagay-bagay na na-use na ako as a Premiere Pro user. Sa DaVinci Resolve, medyo magkaiba talaga sila. Medyo mahirap siya at first but then later on, I started to get used to it. Then I started to build my own techniques. Siyempre, nagkaroon na ako ng solid ideas sa DaVinci Resolve kung paano ito gamitin, kung paano mapapabalik list yung trabaho ko. So yun nga, hindi na ako bumalik sa Premiere Pro. So just like any NLEs, wala talagang perfect na editing software. So as for me, as for my workflow, so far well suited naman and I am very happy using DaVinci Resolve. So I guess that would be all for this video kung may napulot man kayo sa panunood ng video ko. Please leave a like, mag-comment na rin kayo and mag-subscribe. Again, this is your boy Jeriel of JK Vlogs saying you bye-bye!